Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Casual706 here, back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers, Power of the Primes, Deluxe Class, Blackwing. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, dope artwork as always in the top left hand corner of Blackwing. Down here we got ages 8 plus in three different languages, Transformers going up the right side of the package, and the Transformers Generations logo. Around to the back of the package here, it says it's going to take about 14 steps to transform him from his jet mode to robot mode and vice versa. It's also showing how you can use the Power Master armor slash hand to put on his chest to showcase the Power Master figure, kind of giving him some more power. It's also showing you can plug it into the jet mode to have a Titan Master or Power Master ride on the back of him in the jet mode. Now over on the right side of the package here, we got a couple of product placement shots from Hasbro showing Alchemist Prime, Alpha Trion, and Liege Maximo. Now those are the actual Power Master figures, and I believe I've done reviews on all three of those. So if you're into those little guys, be sure to check out my video reviews on them. All right, now in the top left-hand corner, we got a real quick bio for Blackwing. The bio reads, How will the dark-minded Decepticon mercenary wield the power of the primes? All right, so with all the talk about the packaging out of the way, we're going to go ahead and bust this open and get to the good part. All right, so out of the packaging, we get a couple of familiar things. First of all, we get these little art cards. Now, the art card is just showing a more full picture of the same artwork that was on the front of the package. Really cool artwork, by the way. And around to the back of the package here, it says I got the Prima Blackwing version. And he fights to free others from suffering. Kind of weird for a Decepticon, but anyway. Now he also comes packaged with dual-sided instructions. The dual-sided instructions in this case are showing how to transform him from his robot to jet mode and vice versa. Also showing how to transform him into a leg or arm for whichever combiner you choose to combine him with. Alright, now bringing the figure a little bit closer for you to take a look at. Here's what we get with Blackwing. Really funny head sculpt. I'm not really fond of the head sculpt, it's kind of weird. Good color scheme on him. Silver, teal, blue, purple. Really eye-catching paint scheme. Nice uh, painted on Decepticon symbols on the wings. I like how they did him and Dreadwind's wings. They look really cool. And there's his jet backpack and whatnot. Now articulation with this guy. He's got some ball joints at the arm. So you'll be able to get the arm all the way around. Uh, at the bicep section, he's got a little swivel point and he's also gonna have an elbow bend. Now down at the legs, ball joint in the hip section there. So you'll be able to get some nice forward and backward kicks like that. He's then gonna have a swivel point right around the thigh section. And he's also gonna have a knee bend here. Now the leg actually pops open if you bend it too far in, but nonetheless, it's a knee bend. Now the head will rotate all the way around like that. And the waist should also have a swivel. You'll be able to rotate that all the way around. So nice range of articulation with this guy. Uh, as of lately, Hasbro's been doing really good articulation wise with all the figures. This is kind of redoing some old figures from G1 days with a lot more articulation. He does come packaged with a couple of weapons. He's got these two little tiny, tiny, tiny blasters. If you wanted to, you can put them in the ports in the hands. He's also got ports on his arms, as you can see. So you could side wheel them on his arm, a la Megatron. That's your methods for displaying the little pistols on him in his robot mode. Now he also comes packaged with this prime armor, which also doubles as a hand for a combiner like that. And with this thing, there's a little placeholder on the front. You can pop that placeholder out and plug in a Power Master or Titan Master into the front of it to kind of give him some more power. I don't actually have one of those with me, so we're just going to put that placeholder back in place. Now you can take this little port here, fold it around to the other side of that, and you can fold down this little panel on his chest and just plug it into there. So there, there's his chest armor with that. 
All right, now to transform this guy, it should be pretty easy. We're gonna take this jet cockpit. All right, well, first of all, we're gonna flip his head around and put it into that. Then we're gonna bring the jet cockpit up and tab it in. Then we are going to get the arms out of the way, crack the legs open, and they're just gonna kind of collapse onto themselves here. You gotta get it all the way back like that and it'll just kind of collapse onto itself. Same thing with this other leg. You gotta get that leg all the way back and just close it back up here. Like that. And then you give the legs a good squeeze together. There we go. Then the little jet panels here. We'll fold them up. They're actually made out of rubber. These aren't plastic. So mine are kind of bending all over the place. I'm not really happy about that. Look how weird that looks. Hasbro, you should have used plastic for these. These look really weird. Anyway, then you take these little wings, fold them to the back here, just like that. Then the arms, I'm gonna push them all the way down to the back of the figure here, just like that, and like that. And the arm will actually kind of tab into the leg. So that's what you're going to get there, jet mode with the sky. With the weird rubber back wings. Pretty cool jet mode. Aside from the, aside from the little rubber wings on the back. That's the only complaint I have with this figure. So, there he is. Alright, now to do a limb mode for this guy. We'll do them as a leg. We're going to fold this head and jet cockpit out of the way. You're going to have to crack these legs back open, fold that panel up. All right, so you got to open up this back section here. And then the combiner port should flip all the way around here. There we go. And we got to collapse the legs back onto themselves because we had to take all of the stuff apart. Tab the legs back together, close the back up. Then we can close that back jet part up. Uh, the wings are probably gonna have to kind of fold up. Put these arms back into place here. There we go, arms tab into the legs and make sure the head is kind of out of the way here. So that's what you get there with the leg mode with black wing. All you do is take this little port right here, pop it into a Voyager figure and voila. That'd be leg mode. Now to do an arm with this guy, all you do is untab these arms here. We're going to fold them out of the way. Open the legs back up like we're going into the bot mode. Keep them tabbed together. Take this connector port, fold it to the side. And swivel the waist to the side so we get a nice elbow bend with the combiner arm. Now these arms... Gonna have to do something with these arms. I guess I'd do something like that, maybe. I guess that's how you would do it as an arm mode. I'm not sure what you do with these arms because the wings are really in the way. Yeah, and the wings swivel around, so I guess it's all a matter of preference how where or how you want it to look on your combiner. Then you take the little hand thing. Flip the fingers out, fold the thumbs down, pull this little port up to the back here like that, and just pop it in here like that. So that'd be the arm mode for whichever just alt you choose to combine him with. That would conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers, Power of the Primes, Deluxe Class, Blackwing. If you guys like the video, be sure to click the like button. Also, please leave me a comment, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any Transformer unboxings or cool videos in the near future. With all that said, appreciate the view again, guys. Casual 706, out.